Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas, and today I have a short and sweet tutorial on how to export a still image using Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it! Okay, everyone, so like I said, I have a quick and short, sweet tutorial on how to export an image, and no, you don't have to zoom this in and hit Shift Command 3 on your keyboard we're not doing it like that okay I'm gonna show you another way so you can preserve the quality and get a better looking image so what you're gonna want to do I'm doing this for one of my clients I want to pick out a really awesome thumbnail piece to draw some attention so let me browse through what do I want to use so many good images say I want to use this right here I like the way this looks and also this is great too if you want to share screen caps from whatever you guys are editing and share on your social platforms like Instagram and Facebook tell a story with it, it is awesome create always be creating content ABC always be creating so anyways we're gonna go up here to file and we're gonna come over to share now I have the save current frame which is what we're gonna use but for those who don't have that option have no fear Dottie is here we're gonna go down here to destination, okay? And I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna delete this, like it's not even there. So let's start again. You go over file, share, and you're gonna see all these things, but where's the image one? And no, I'm not talking export image sequence. So we're gonna come down to destination. All right, so over here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of other things right here. And right here is the game changer. This is the cheat code, y'all. This is the save current frame. So we're gonna go ahead and drag this over here and we're gonna have save current frame. Now I'm gonna move this up because I actually use this a lot. I use it just almost as much as rendering a whole video and saving it. When you have the save current frame, you're gonna have export files, a PNG, a Photoshop file, which is PSD, open EXR, JPEG, and DPX image. Now I usually export in all PNGs jpeg if i'm lazy and i do it like that so let's try it again let's say i want to export this part right here officially we're going to come over here to share we're going to come down to save current frame and we can name it screen cap or whatever you want to do over here again you pick the file you want to do and you would hit next voila we have a screen cap that usually I'll send to Photoshop and tweak it up a bit or I'll send to VS CoCam and use the app on my iPhone to enhance the foot, uh, enhance the image a lot so I can share it on social media. And this is awesome for, like I said, creating content and making killer thumbnails. That's how you do it. And I wanted to show you this easy hack that you can do and start implementing today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like button for me right now. And if you want to see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials like this in the future, as well as gear unboxings and reviews and filming tips and tricks, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.